Hafei, I'm Ken Quintaniza, and welcome back to Weekend Edition. We're here at the Guam Election Commission with Executive Director Maria Pangalinen, who's going to give us a little wrap-up of Decision 2016. Maria, how would you say the general election went so far? Um, you know, I think our, our voters are happy. Um, it went pretty smoothly. Did you guys encounter any problems during the general election? Uh, there were some, um, you know, toward the end of um, election night, or at the at, at about eight o'clock, or even before that, I realized that most of the school's outdoor area were really dark. So we need to address that come next election. I understand that the commissioners noted that this was actually a very smooth election, very few calls and very few complaints. What do you attribute that to? Well, possibly one of the things that we really tried hard with was our voter registration um, system, and it's uh, we our voter registration process. Uh, we cleared up a bunch of impending, uh, pending uh, registration, and it could be that online voter reg registration came up and is, is online um, before the election. And I know, speaking about registration, I know we had over 51,000 registered voters, and this election had a pretty big, big voter turnout. What was that? Yes, you know, um, I, I took a chance and I said maybe between 60 and 69 percent, I'm, I'm sorry, between 60 and 70 percent voter turnout, and we had got to be 69 percent. And then um, over the week, over this past week after the election, when we were looking at the uh, absentee ballots and provisional ballots, I said, hey, we might get to 70% yet, but we'll see. And uh, do you attribute the voter turnout to maybe the list of candidates, some of the issues surrounding some of these candidates? What do you feel the voter participation was a result of? The excellent slate of candidates. I think they generate much more voter participation. Um, and you know, pleasantly surprised, I saw a lot of young voters come in to register and, and to vote as well. I believe over 10,000 were uh, some of the young voters. On there. our registration rules for the 2016 general election, we had over 10,000 that are under 31. And then, um, would you say that was your biggest surprise during the election, just the voter turnout, or any other surprises that came about? Um, well, you know, the other thing that I was asked to predict was when we'll get our re when we will get the results, and I didn't want to I didn't want to take a look at that. I didn't want to address it, but surprisingly, saw uh, surprisingly we were at one o'clock. Was that one o'clock when we gave you the results? A little after one yeah. o'clock. Yeah, we were there, and then this was one of the. Uh, at least in my experience, some of the fastest results for any election. What do you attribute these fast results to? Um, first and foremost, I think the, the single ballot sheet, that makes a big difference. And uh, thank you, and Sizuus Masi, to our precinct officials who worked hard and worked diligently during the day and still came up to the election return center at the University of Guam. They did a lot of the work. So to them, thanks and, and congratulations. And what does this mean for future elections? Should we be seeing more faster results? Or what is this? Uh, what, what would you say the speediness of this election means for futures? Bigger challenge. That means we have to be better and bigger next time and faster. And would you say you've learned anything from this election? Lots. Um, you know, talking to the candidates, um, one of the things in retrospect, going back, maybe making sure that candidates attend the candidate seminars and and hold hosting the candidate seminars much earlier so that the newcomers can be more um, familiar or, or can be get an orientation much earlier and what would you say is next now with the, the general election is not over yet because we still have some results to do what happens next now following super tuesday um, well, we have coming up immediately um, reconciliation of the provisional ballots. We still need to wait. We, we still need to give um, absentee, absentee ballots from off island. We still have uh, to wait to receive them up until November 23rd. So come November 23rd, we will tabulate the final absentee ballots, work on the uh, provisional ballots, and do a recount. Okay, anything else you want to add? Well, um, thank you, and uh, stay tuned. Thanks again, Maria. And again, for more on Decision 2016, keep it locked to the stations of KUAM. We have more when Weekend Edition returns.